policy to move Virginia forward. So there has been controversy surrounding you since last February, I believe it was, when there were pictures on this yearbook page of someone in blackface, and, and, and you've changed your position on whether it was you or not. But I, I guess I have two questions on this. Number one, when this issue first developed last February, February and people were calling for your resignation, did you ever think you'd be here today ushering in a new era of Democratic Party? That first. Well, certainly race and equity is something that I have fought for since I've been in public office, uh, even practicing as a, a pediatrician. You know, I, I, I've always been inclusive um, and we've moved forward from that. Certainly race and equity will continue to be a, a top priority uh, of mine. Uh, but this this was about uh, a bigger picture yesterday. Uh, and I would also take the opportunity to thank Virginians. They, they stuck with me. They elected me to be their governor, their 73rd governor. Uh, they didn't turn their backs on me. They supported me. They appreciate what we've done, uh, what our leadership has done. And, and I think they look forward to me continuing uh, to do some good work. And, and right now, we, we have a unique opportunity in Virginia uh, with control of both the House, the Senate, uh, and the governor's office. Yes, uh, good quickly. things are going to happen in Virginia. Do you Virginia. owe them, or what further explanations do you owe them on this subject? Well, we've obviously talked a lot about that. Um, good things have happened. Uh, you know, we've, we've taken down a, an arch uh, in, in, at Fort Monroe, which is where the enslaved Africans first arrived. Uh, we've got a, a curriculum uh, a process going on where we want to make sure that we're, we're teaching our children uh, the truth uh, about uh, history in, in Virginia. So, so good things are happening, and we'll continue to work on those. That, I, I, as I said, race and equity mm -hmm. will be a top priority of mine as we move forward. Governor Northam, thank you very much for joining us.